UC Davis and BrainGate have published in the New England Journal of Medicine. They share their breakthrough brain-computer interface technology that allowed an ALS patient, Casey Harrell, to speak again. The system uses electrode arrays implanted in his brain. They measure electrical signals when he's trying to form words, and they convert those electrical signals into real words and speech, bypassing his weak facial muscles. And so far, the technology has allowed him to use a vocabulary of 125,000 words with up to 97% percent accuracy. And they've taken recordings of his own voice before he got sick and trained an AI on that so that now when he speaks, it's in his own voice. And for pre-meds, there's a lot to take away from this. One, medicine and science is really cool and it helps real people get the care they deserve. I personally cried watching that video of him hearing his voice by his family. And two, this technology was developed by a multidisciplinary team. Neurosurgeons, neuroscientists, computer scientists, bioengineers all pitched into making this real. And modern healthcare is increasingly interdisciplinary. And pre-meds who can live in multiple worlds, say medicine and public policy, science and business healthcare administration, biology and computer science or AI. These people are increasingly valuable because they can develop creative solutions. And adcoms know this too. Back at UCLA, our dean gave a speech, and I'll never forget what he asked. He said that after graduating from UCLA, you will all be physicians. But what else will you be? You will be a physician and and what will your and be? So if you're trying to get into medical school, think about what your and may be and show it through your application. If you're looking for inspiration, we have eight full AMCAS applications that featured real pre-meds with real ands. That database is always free, link in my bio.